All right, let's now shift focus to Turkey. It's a big election battle there that has been closely watched across the world. Right, absolutely. Millions will head to the polls on the 14th of May to vote in Turkey's presidential as well as parliamentary elections, which observers expect will provide the toughest test. These elections for President Erdogan's 20-year period as the country's leader, it's the biggest challenge for him. That's what many are saying. Sunday's presidential and parliamentary ballot will pass judgment on Turkey's longest-serving leader and the social transformation will be spearheaded by his Islamic-rooted AKP party. So that's the biggest test coming for Erdogan. The president is pulling out all stops in his campaign trail in face of an emboldened opposition as he seeks to continue on his two-decade-old rule. Right. Poll show Erdogan's main challenger is opposition leader Kemal Kılıç Darulo. Kılıç Darulo has portrayed his six-party alliance as a force for democratic change. His alliance includes liberals, nationalists and religious conservatives. They vow to abandon the presidential system, which Erdogan introduced after winning a hard-fought constitutional referendum in 2017. Other promises here include defending women's rights and changing the economic system, which it has called orthodox. This time in the elections, there are four candidates in the fray that are running for the post of the president. These include a right-wing leader, Sana Nogan, and centrist leader, Muharram Inche, apart from Erdogan and Klitsch Darulu. These leaders need to secure more than 50% of the total votes in order to emerge victorious. If they fail in doing so, then the result will be decided through a runoff. Yani evet 21 yıldan beri süren bir iktidar var ve insanların şu an feryat ettiği, yalnız bırakıldık, bize uzanan el olmadı dediği bir zaman yaşıyorsak değişim zamanı ve yeni insanların, yeni siyasilerin denenmesi gereken bir zamanı yaşıyoruz. And this time Erdogan and his party called the Justice and Development Party they face a dire challenge this comes as Erdogan faces blame over a deteriorating economy as well as lax response to an earthquake which killed over 50000 people but the president too has been tenacious he's made multiple visits to the sites affected by the catastrophe Erdogan has peppered the election run up with celebrations of several industrial milestones and these include launching the country's first electric car an indigenous assault ship, a nuclear power plant, among others.